Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectra team. And in this video, I will show you how to use the course project files and its workflow. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist, which you will find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, first of all, congratulations on starting your journey. You're on your way to level up your WordPress and Spectra skills. Now, in order to help you complete this website project, you'll find the link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. Now, once you've downloaded the zip files, if you're on the Mac, you can just double click on the zip file and it will automatically extract the files and create this folder. Now, if you're in Windows or Linux, it depends on which version you're using. But if you're using one of the latest versions, it's pretty easy. You just right click and you will find extract in the contextual menu. Okay, next, let's open the extracted folder. And inside this folder, you will find two subfolders, text and web assets. Let's start with text. So if I get inside the text subfolder, you see several files. And each file, as I open it, contains the text needed for that page. So here is the header text, so it's very simple, book a call. Here we got the home. So as you can see, it's divided by sections or containers. Here we have the text for the hero container, then the text for the services container, testimonials container, and so on. And if I open the other pages, it's exactly the same principle. So basically all you need to do is once you're working on the page and I'm showing something on screen, you can just open this file and then just copy and paste where it should be pasted. Okay, let's go back and next we have web assets. If we get in there, as you can see, we got all the media assets, mainly images. Now I follow the naming convention so that it's easier throughout the project. And by the way, that's one of the best practices. So let me put it in this mode. And as you can see, the first three are ID for identity. So we got the logo, the dark version, the white version, the side icon. Next, we have our images. So for the images that could be reused anywhere on the website, I follow the simple naming convention, IMG for image, HOR because here it's a horizontal image and the number. So here's two, three, and so on. Then here I get the vertical image, so IMG. VR for vertical and then the number of the image. You get the idea. And for images that serve a specific role, I give them a specific name like here, quotes two. Then we have service branding, service graphic design and service web design. And finally, we got our team images. Now the images are already optimized and optimization is super important when it comes to the speed of your website. But we'll talk about optimization later on in this course. Now, to make your life easier, when I'm using a file during the course, you'll find a reference to the name of this file so that you can easily reproduce what I do on screen. Now, we're almost ready to build, but before we can do that, we need a way to make our website publicly available online. And that's what we'll be discussing in the next video in this course.